My video for January the 28th, 2019 is video number 2,979. And the title is, Stand Up for Truth or Turn the Other Cheek. We live on a planet that has been co-opted by criminals. They are foreign to human beings, which is why they use devious means in order to control us. Many of you already know this, but a lot of people are totally unaware. I've talked about this in numerous videos over the years, making daily videos, years of making daily videos. In order to scam us, they simply corporatize our birth names. It looks the same, but it's not. One is lawful. The other is merely a part of the British legal system of fraud that is aligned with the Vatican. They subverted Washington, D.C. and made it their military arm. In other words, U.S. citizens are the military fodder, fighting many wars on behalf of those who want to control the world, not for the benefit of humanity, but for their own self-aggrandizement. Of course, it's a scam. Yet it has been very successful for a long time. The fiscal or monetary, legal, religious, and political systems are all interwoven. They defraud everyone. Knowing this for a long time now, I have, along with many others who know the truth, tried to free myself and others. I have wanted to take a stand for truth. Yet when they succeeded in stealing my home, I felt I had little choice but to turn the other cheek and succumb to their chicanery. Until their system is overthrown, we are all trapped. Qui bono. I'm actually recording this again. I, it was a video that I did a couple of days ago. And when I did the video, uh, yesterday with my friend, uh, friend, uh, I, Philip, I, uh, we, there were errors in it and I spent hours trying to get that video to work, figuring out how to trying to remove the, the, bat, the slurred speech that was understandable, but problematic at the same time. Anyway, folks, uh, I decided this morning to, rather than to try to change the dates and everything on this one, like I did on the one uh, yesterday, I'm just going to re-record -re the whole thing and scrap the other, other recording. I have been in this dilemma, along with many others, for a good period of time. And yes, uh, Anna von Reitz and others are trying, as I once did, to reestablish the Republic. I guess Michigan is, is completed. I don't know how, it, how many, if any, other states are actually completed. At one time, Florida was completed. I mean, we had a governor. We had a, I was the Secretary of State. We had the various offices. We had a bunch of people that were willing to sit in and, uh, and, uh, create the, the proper courts instead of the corporate structures that we have in the United States now to, to set up actual co the common law courts all over the country so that we uh, would no longer be uh, in a criminal system. And the again, like I keep saying, the current system in the United States is a criminal system. That is, the system itself is criminal. Not, not they make criminals out of, out of everybody else. If they don't pay their taxes, their homes get, get stolen. And uh, I mean, I, I know I've gone through this stuff. And when they took my house, I mean, it was like the straw that broke the camel's back. And then I had to, they forced me to get a Florida driver's license, not because I wanted to, but because they wouldn't recognize the, uh, the driver's license that I had, which was a, an international driving permit, which was supposed to be legal in all countries of the world with the exception of uh, Kenya. And it was issued in, the, uh, in Washington, DC, uh, 
It came from Washington, so it was it was supposed to be an alternative to having your car stolen by the state. And technically, under the current system, the state owns everything. Even if you have a house that's paid for, as I once did, uh, they end up stealing that too because the system is the criminal enterprise. It is totally co-opted by people that have no no decency. They, they don't, we came, they died, what difference does it make? I keep quoting that, that's a Hillary Clinton quote. Uh, it's one that should be infamous. And yet some people are still trying to get her to be president. Uh, they're still trying to overthrow uh, the Donald <laughs> and uh, bringing all sorts of ridiculous charges that are that are old against uh, against the recently approved Supreme Court justice. And I guess there's Ruth Ginsburg is going to going to be another replacement. Some say she's already dead. Uh, others say uh, that she's very sick and she hasn't died yet. But of course. They don't want Trump to replace it because they don't want the Supreme Court uh, aligned with the justices that are uh, that would favor the people. They want to keep their corporate scam going, uh, and it's been going and going and going. Now, qui bono means who benefits? Well, obviously, uh, it is these charlatans that are that have benefited for a long time. And by charlatans, I'm talking about uh, the royal families uh, in Europe. I'm talking about the international bankers that are everywhere, but primarily in Europe and the Rockefellers, of course, that is the United States branch of the Roth of the European Rothschilds. Uh, it's, it's an endemic system that is all over the world, and it's it leaves you humans without there are natural rights, without remedy, and that's why we need to uh, turn the courts around. But I was forced to turn the other cheek and and allow them to make me get a driver's license, and uh, and force me to. Uh, they stole my house, as I've talked about. Uh, there's been a lot of things that have gone on that are absolutely not lawful. And I've been a victim of that. Uh, I've had to turn the other cheek, not because I wanted to. I wanted to take a stand for truth, and I still do. Uh, but how do we do it? How do we change the system? How do we get enough people to become aware of the situation when those of us that are trying to tell the truth are diminished in our ability by them, by Facebook and YouTube and, and other such uh, organizations that are aligned with the scam. I mean, this is the problem that I, that I face. Now, I don't even know if I should bring that up. You know, there are, there's evidence that there was a different, different race of people on this planet that have a different skull, the elongated skulls. Uh, uh, those things were part of the old royal families, if you will. That's why they wore the headdresses. That's why the popes wore these great big headdresses and, the, and so many of the pictures that we've seen. But we've actually found skeletal remains, and they are not human skeletal, skeletons. The, the skull is a different skull than a human skull. It doesn't have the same uh, growth patterns and, and marks that human skulls have. So that's just another aspect to show that, uh, that something has happened on Earth where we were invaded by uh, a, a group of beings that were different than, than Earthlings or they weren't human, in other words. Anyway, thank you folks for listening and considering the things that I'm saying. Uh, apologize for having to record again, but that's the way it is. Namaste.